Yes. State your name for the uh, My name is Julio Estramera, uh, Alpine uh, Village. And I'll, I'll keep it pretty brief. Um, I know we, <clears throat> we were here last week and we talked about um, a committee that would be put together and in place to discuss a plan. Um, so my question is, uh, has there been, and I know it's been a short week, uh, an extremely short week, but is there um, a committee in place to discuss this plan? Yes. And has a meeting transpired so far <clears throat> to discuss? No, we, we've, we have met, we met previously with the uh, JCC pool, um, but we have not met with the private swim clubs yet. Okay. So is, is there a meeting uh, on the calendar in the very near future with any of these clubs? At this point, the committee was waiting to see if it was going to be, the ordinance was going to be acted upon, whether it be tabled or voted up or down before um, okay. the meetings were set. So with that being said, I mean, and I think you've heard tonight that um, without a plan that we, we, surely, we really shouldn't move forward with um, this, this vote, actually. And, and I want to, you know, reiterate what, what Brian said. There, there's really no rush here, um, you know vote no so that we can have the time, you know, whether it's a year, because it's not going to be something easy. My, my biggest fear, you know, with, with going forward with this sale, you approve it, um, you have your committee in place uh, moving forward to discuss and a plan moving forward, is that six months down the road, we hear that, you know, you've worked with the four pools, you couldn't really hammer out. Um, a, a location for the community pool to fill that void you know I fear that you know the plan would sound something like the high school is going to take over this camp this pool is going to take over this camp um, the JCC may allow a few members in for maybe two to three year period of time <clears throat> we're going to kick each pool five thousand ten thousand dollars for some improvement maybe they get into an agreement where they allow Monroeville residents for a three or four year period of time to come freely and then after that everyone's on their own you know and you've accepted the money the sales going through and you know and I know you guys said you were committed to um, coming up with a with a pretty solid plan and working to fill that void for the Monroeville community but I don't think that you know, again, we should proceed with any sale until there's been a significant amount of time and effort put forth to coming up with a solid plan. And that's all I really have to say.